why I started to fall in love in cooking is because my mom cooking is one of the best cooking when he cook for our you know for the relative or mm. visitors mm. you can see their happy faces really you know trigger me you know wow you know food can affect emotion and senses as well mm. boost my interest in culinary arts I'm from the olden era okay. now it's actually more towards digital native era students nowadays they can't live without phones they can't live without laptops yeah, so what we need to do is actually embrace mm. and adapt and of course to see how we can utilize all these technologies into our daily operation. Mm. Welcome to another episode of Feel Good. Uh, I'm your host, Joe Kim, or better known as Kim. Together with me in the studio today, we have Christopher Wan. Yeah, correct. Educator, yeah. chef, hotelier, <laughs> TV host, mm. TV chef. <laughs> I might miss out some, ah, but mean, that's pretty much about it. <laughs> pretty much about <laughs> it, ah. Sum the whole thing. Oh, let's sum up the whole thing. <laughs> but before that, let uh, let him introduce himself. All right. So basically, my name is Christopher Wan, as what Joaquin was mentioning. Of course, uh, in TV shows and so on, they call me Chef Chris Wan. Okay. It's the shorter version of it. Oh, because Chris sometimes Wan. If, you, if you mention about Christopher, sometimes the pronunciation could be a bit off. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah, Chris yeah. Wan is much more commercialized, I could say okay. that. Stage name, yeah, stage, stage name, name. <laughs> Stage name. So of course, you know, as you mentioned, I'm also an educator. I'm currently the dean for the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Management for USSR University of Sarawak Campus. Oh, okay. And of course, the resident manager for USSR Hotel as well. Oh, okay. And of course, TV host uh, for a few of my own show, um, Sudut Cherpu, that is back in 2019. And of course, currently, I think last year, just A, uh, Inspiracy Chef, which is oh. A in TV OK as well. Oh, okay. And of course, uh, Chef. Mm. Yeah, that's pretty much some a little bit about myself. Okay, I <laughs> before we go into anything else, 24 mm. hours enough for you to use not? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> Right, 24 hours, if we talk about it, never enough. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, if, okay. if you have longer, you mean to say you have a lot of things to be done as well. Yeah, but, but you, you carry so many things. What? Yeah, it's all about planning and also organize, uh, organize okay, your schedule okay. and so on. Yeah. Well, I mean, apparently, if you really want to go forward for it, you want to do something, of course, you know, you put a little bit of sacrifice. Uh, uh, okay, you know, okay, okay. It's, it's because something that you want to do. La. Yeah, correct, so correct. So somehow you will find a way to do it. Mm, you, you have to, if you want to achieve something in life, you know, you have to sacrifice certain part of it. Okay. For yeah. example, myself, um, I sacrifice a little bit of leisure. Okay. Uh, we need to say, when I was young, you know, when we are still wild and young, <laughs> We go out, we yeah, have a, yeah. you know, you yeah. go here and there, but now, of course, reduce that kind of uh, amount of time that I have um, to achieve something else. Ah, you know, uh, okay, yeah. okay. So, leisure time cut down. Yeah. Apart from all this just now, you're also a husband, yes, a father. Yes, 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 correct. Wow, okay. Yeah. Do you have enough eight hours of sleep today? <laughs> like, oh. Usually, usually, <laughs> I tend to sleep approximately around 12 to 1 o'clock every day. Uh, okay, okay. You wake, go to sleep 12 at 1. Uh, okay. one wake up at 5. Of course, you have to do your daily duty. Okay. Uh, you know, your son has to wake up. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah, yeah, then yeah. you have to see them and say bye-bye. Then after mm. that, I was sending my youngest son. Mm. Uh, so, my youngest son sent over to schools and mm. go to work. You know, that's my daily routine. Wow, 4-5 uh, hours of sleep. Five, la. Yeah, hopefully that, that's enough sleep. Well. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know that. <laughs> I, that is not my <laughs> specialty. I also do not know. I mean, obviously, we have we have heard about eight hours is the best, right? right? But right. some people like like yourself, mm. you don't have that eight hours, you know? Yeah, of course, we want to have the eight hours. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, as you yeah. mentioned, in the day, we have 34 hours. Yeah, yeah, So, yeah, well, I mean, five hours, what can we do? We just maximize. Uh, the most important is quality sleeps. Ah, yeah, okay, uh, okay. So, okay, when you okay. say... Make sure you don't get this step as all. You just sleep the whole five hours, you know. Okay, okay. Just to refresh yourself, yeah. Get a good mattress, so... Ah, <laughs> not to promote, ah. <laughs> if there's sponsor outside, uh, this is the time. It's sponsor, why not? Yeah, yeah, uh. correct, correct. I agree because, because if, let's say, even if you have eight hours of sleep, but it's not a quality sleep, correct. you also don't have enough correct. rest, right? Exactly. Okay, okay. before we go further into serious question, huh? mm. let's start with a warm-up, not so serious question first. Mm. If you could wake up tomorrow... Having gained one ability, mm. extra one ability, yeah. Mm. Of course, not the one that you have now, mm. lah. Mm. So what would it be? Ah, I wish I could duplicate myself, you know. <laughs> hey, you, you know, you know, like okay, the okay. Song Wukong. Okay, so, okay, okay. Oh, you can have all these, you know, duplicate yourself and so on. Because why, you know, there, there's so many things that uh, myself, especially myself, I have a lot of goals, you know, in okay, my bucket okay. list. 
I want to achieve everything um, as soon as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so if I can duplicate myself, I can do this, I can do that, I can uh, do more hosting, more <laughs> shows, uh, more academic work, you know, oh. all these kind of things. But of course, it's all come with patient at the end of the day. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So, but of course, I can only be one myself. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> duplication. <laughs> duplicate yourself, okay. For information, so uh, Wukong can duplicate uh, 72 of them. Uh, 72? <laughs> but, Even better. But, but for me, I cannot only go one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Wow, the ability to uh, duplicate. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, I also would feel that it's uh, a lot better. Yeah, you, then for you, you can do a lot of hosting here and there. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. More yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. I wish, I think everybody here wish to <laughs> duplicate themselves. <laughs> lah. I think so. Lah. Okay, but do you do you have an assistant that help you with the things that you are currently doing? Um, so far, for myself, so I always believe in working in a teamwork. Um, oh, okay, you have a team, team. lah. But of course, they have their own role. I will not want to, you know, burden them with my, oh, um, you know, okay. things that I want. So okay. sometimes we have to do it ourselves, lah. Oh, mm. okay, okay. Although you have a team, yeah. but still. Everybody have their own role to Correct, do lah. Exactly. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Wow. Can you share a little bit about your your background and also your culinary training? Um, uh, of this course. Is a chef. Yeah. So of course, you know, I went to study and so on in the colleges and so on. Um, I obtained my master in learning science. Mm. Uh, if you look at my education background, it's very diverse. Okay. I have diploma in culinary arts. Okay. Where I really focus on culinary arts. Then I ve- uh, then I continue on with bachelor in hospitality and tourism management. Oh, okay. Right. Okay. Then I further my study in master in learning sciences. Oh, so you okay. can see that there's three dynamic different fields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Culinary, we need back the house and so on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, hospitality and tourism meaning to say find the house. Yeah. So meaning to say if I go industry, nobody can tell me, hey, you are wrong, you are right. Yeah, yeah. I Guess know you both. Know it. <laughs> I know A to Z. Okay. Uh, okay in the industry. Yeah, yeah. And of course, learning science. Why I take uh, master in learning science is because. Um, you know, I'm in education line. Mm. Um, you know, teaching and learning is very important. Mm. So I took up that that particular um, programs um, mm. for a master actually to enhance my teaching and learning uh, ability. Mm. So that when I do teaching and learning, you know, our students will be you know fully equipped. Mm. So that is really mm. important. Uh. Mm. But of course, in terms of career wise, by profession, I'm a chef. Mm, okay. um, I work in Peninsula. I work in Singapore, and I work in offshore company as well. Mm, mm. And of course, with that, I think back in. 2014, um, I joined um, at USSI University. Okay, uh, okay. That is where I start my um, journey as um, education okay. uh, in, in the education um, you know line. line. Then after that, you know, um, from tutor to lecturer, lecturer to assistant professor, then head of department, deputy mm. dean, and the dean up to mm. now. So that will take approximately around nine years. Oh, okay. uh, then I think in back in 2020, I think um, I have been. Uh, appointed to be uh, the resident manager for the hotel as well. Mm, okay, so there's okay. a little bit some about how my journey is. Uh, uh, mm. Okay, okay. Is it something that you've been wanting to do since you were a kid? Uh, as a chef, yes. As a chef, yeah. yes. Ah, uh, okay. So of course, you know why I have interest. This is because of my mother, definitely. Because oh? you know when when your mom cook, yeah, impossible. The thing is not nice. So everything that your mom cook. Nice or not, you have to eat. <laughs> but but really, really, it's not... Okay, nah, okay I cannot uh, say probably. Uh, that time say not nice, you are out uh, of the house. Uh, <laughs> correct, exactly. But of course, uh, my mum cooking is one of the best cooking for my personal uh, yeah, view yeah, yeah. as well. Because yeah. you see, why I started to fall in love in cooking is because when he cook for our, you know, for the relative or mm. visitors, mm. you can see their happy faces. Mm. When they consume the food, I mean okay, that okay, really okay. you know trigger me. You know, wow, you know, food can affect emotion and senses as well. Mm, mm. So that start uh, you know build my uh, or boost my interest in culinary arts. Mm. And to share with you as well, my first fail experience of cooking, uh, I think that is when I was primary four. Primary four. So primary okay. four, I am very independent. I cook myself as okay. well because both of my parents are working. Okay, okay. So it's all on me. Okay, you want okay. to survive, you want to eat, you cook lah. <laughs> you cook lah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, well, of course, uh, I I wanted to surprise my parents by the time when they come back to work. Oh, you, know, you want to prepare something for uh, them lah. I la. want to bake a cake. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But unfortunately, <laughs> instead of baking cake, I'm making a lava <laughs> kind of thing. Why? Okay, because okay. instead of using normal flour, I'm making baking powder. 
powder. Oh, okay. So imagine baking powder, you mix everything when you bake, yeah. you like a volcano in the oven, <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. So I totally mess up. I have to oh, clean okay. the whole oven and so on. <laughs> it's ridiculous. But of course, that is where you learn, you know? Yeah, you learn yeah, through yeah, your yeah, mistakes yeah. and so on. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. So instead of preparing a good surprise to your parent, it becomes yeah. a bad surprise. Bad surprise, I get whacked. I said, what are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. Whole kitchen. Oh, okay. I, I can imagine that. <laughs> I can imagine that. Okay, okay. Uh, so, okay. Now, uh, it leads to another uh, stray off a little bit. Uh. Mm. I can say, uh, I can say all of us, even even the chef friends that mm. we, I, I have, uh, they always mention about their mother's cooking, mm. right? Um, when, when they ask whether your father can cook or not, can. Father can cook basic mm. stuff. Mm. But it's always mother's cooking that have stick with us for... Mm. Most of our life. Correct. But the thing is, you see, why in the industry, gun there is more male chef than female chef that, or at least the one yeah, that we know yeah, of, yeah, lah. Yeah. You know, so even like what's our Malaysian famous one, chef one. Mm. It's a, it's a guy, yeah. right? Um, from Health Kitchen, mm. Gordon. It's a guy. Correct. All right. Do you under, do you know why is this? I mean, it's very it's very subjective. You okay. know, if you talk, you know, I've been in industry and so on. Of course, there's a lot of male, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So See? one of the ways is because you know, in kitchen one, the density of the working environment is really really high. Oh. So okay, if you look okay. at the history of kitchen wise, it's actually based from army style where you have your rank, your commis, your demi chef, whatever. It's like yeah. an army. Yeah. So that's way you know when you go in. You are in army camp. Okay. If you are in, if you join Kalinra, definitely you are in army, army camp. camp. Ah, okay, you have okay. your discipline. You have your commander, which yeah, is yeah. always shouting at you. I think it's not suitable <laughs> for women. I think oh, for, okay, for okay, female okay. wise, I think the stress level is very high okay. as well. Okay, okay. But of course, I do have you know female chef, chef. friends as well. Mm-hmm. Once they go into the kitchen, I tell you, you have to be careful. <laughs> You don't want to mess with you them. You don't want to mess with them. <laughs> you don't want to else you will get, you know, upside down 360, you will go anywhere. You'll you know? become the dish. <laughs> You'll become the dish. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Be- because I always I always mm. ask this question, like, Macham, how come it's always our mother's cooking, but it's yeah. always male chef? Okay, now mm. you explain it yeah. that way, probably that is why. Like, I mean, maybe our mother just prefer cooking, mm. but, you know, I love it. I mm. do it for love, out of love, not Correct. out of money. You know? Because Correct. as a chef, you Correct. you are earning a living, ma. Correct, exactly. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Maybe that's why. Maybe mm. that's why. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah, have you heard of bamboo shoot acha? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. My mom makes a really good bamboo shoot acha. Mm-hmm. It's so good that I, when I give to my friends, eh, my friends straight away. Where do you buy this? Ah, mm. where can I order next time? <laughs> raya, like that. Uh. I'm like, no, my mom made this. Then I go back and tell her, guy. Mm. Then her answer is no, no one. Yeah. I don't want to make so troublesome. <laughs> I'm like, but it's good money, right? Yeah. Imagine you make this. I'm like, she like, no, I don't want to make. If you, if you see, if you see, trouble. you know, if your mother cook at home and so on, yeah, they cook with emotion and also um, senses and so on. Mm. Because they put love. Because of course they want to cook for the child and so yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, Definitely, yeah. they will not want to give you something that is not nice. Ah, uh, so I think okay, that okay. explain a little bit of what you know. All these kind of thing happen. But for them, they say my food is normal, yeah. Oh, but for us, oh, it's really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's very difficult to replicate what they have been cooking. So even yeah. they give you, you do this, you do this, you do this. This is the recipe. You will not get the same result. <laughs> yeah, true, true, because true. I think it's the patient, the the love, and the care they put in yeah. when they prepare the dish. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. true. Mm. Okay, so how has the food and cooking industry changed over the course of your career, and what trends do you see emerging in coming years? Of course, you see, you know, when pandemic strike, mm. it accelerates uh, the usage of technology. Mm. There's a lot of things that's happening as well. You see, uh, previously we pay to a restaurant, we see the chef to cook and so on. Okay. Right, but now if you look at the kitchen, most of the kitchen, there's a lot of technology involved. Mm. Uh, I think you have heard about thermomix. Mm, yeah, the machine yeah. they put everything in yeah, they put yeah, for you yeah, and so on yeah. but of course these kind of things we can't avoid you know uh, we have to embrace and also learn how to adapt and also utilize um, mm. to the maximum and of course if you look at um, you know nowadays if you want to order pizza in other days you have to see people you know they do their pizza and so on prepare the pizza right mm. in front of you but now mm. you can just order your, your pizza through vending machine so mm. all of this kind of thing is happening mm. so we, you know, for me as an educator, we can't avoid this. Mm. So what we need to do is actually embrace mm. 
and adapt and of course to see how we can utilize all these technologies into our daily operation mm. and of course if you think long term all these kind of technologies is actually saving you in terms of manpower costs. Mm. Uh, of course, if we talk about business now, oh, okay, okay. you reduce the manpower cost because you have all these technologies to support and help. Support. Okay, okay. But in terms of business, is good. But in terms of the career as a chef, it will, in a way, uh, depreciating. Because, you know, people will say, oh, why should I have more chef where I can use machine? Mm. But at the end of the day, okay, okay. Um, chef is still mm. essential because chef is a person that come up with all the formulas. Mm. Let's say you want to cook something, okay, okay. you can't tell the robot, uh, cook me pumpkin soup. Of course, this chef have to uh, concentrate the formula, you know, mm. what ingredients mm. to be put mm. and so on. Mm. I think at the end of the day, uh, chef profession, in a way, after a few years, after this, it will change. Mm. It's not only cooking, okay. they okay. are more like some sort of scientists as well. Ah, uh, okay, we, okay. Uh, because they need to formulate it. Correct. Although we, we might have robots to do it, but they still mm. need to formulate, program correct, it. Correct. And uh, the robot then will do it. Mm. Okay. I have a friend who told me about this, and which I find it quite mm. true, uh, but if you can, mm. see whether you can elaborate more. Mm. When our parents' time, when they eat, mm. they have to eat so that they are full. Correct. Right? So many say that they eat a lot. Mm. During our time, our food has to be good quality. Mm. As in, we know what we are putting inside our body. Mm. And like, for example, or we know probably um, if it's white rice, you can substitute it with brown rice. It's better yep. that way. Yep. So that is our generation. But the generation after us, it's the food have to look good. Yeah, exactly. So, so what do you think about this statement? Well, I think as, you know, if you are in culinary rules, uh, if you go find dining as well, mm -hmm. you will not get food. <laughs> because you know people eat through their eyes first yeah so that is actually one of marketing gimmick as well mm. um that used by a lot of you know uh, business operators especially fmb industry and so on um they make the food as uh, as presentable as nice as it is mm. but that is actually for what for photography and so on they actually to capture the attention that's it oh okay but of course if you bring your let's say if i bring my parents going out and eat they mm. will not appreciate these kind of things yeah, yeah. even um when I was being sponsored to go to Korea by the mm. Korean government, I mm. stayed there for two weeks. They bring um, a bunch of us for, you know, tour and so on. Mm. So they brought us to um, two Michelin star restaurants. Okay. So we dine in there. So of course, I mean for us, from Kuching, yeah, going yeah. over there to Michelin star, wow, yeah, yeah. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, per head, they they charging a product. Because when you convert to ringgit, it's around 6,000 ringgit per oh, person. Okay. Oh, okay. So when you go in... For one dining experience. For dining person. experience. But I, of course, you've been sponsored. I'm very honoured. Yeah, 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 yeah. For yeah. me, if 6,000 ringgit, I would think twice. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, of course, man. when when I have that kind of experience, I'm like, oh my god. I mean, after that dinner, I I went out to, you know, any What's grocery store. <laughs> Find a uh, uh, what Korean noodle whatever no, man, I guess no, but because still still hungry. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the thing is the way they present and preserve the food uh, to the guests is really mesmerizing. Oh, okay, uh, because okay. people you know it look very aesthetic. Oh. They actually give some sort of experience. Oh, uh, it's not, not about the food. It's, it's not, about the experience. Correct experience. It's all about experience because you see if you talk about food, there's a lot of senses mm. by the look, by sheer whatever, whatever. So. Mm. In order for us to maximize this kind of um, selling of high quality food, mm. now in terms is actually through providing additional experience. Mm. Mm. That is how Salt Bay becomes so big. Correct. <laughs> it just actually it's just a beef where you it, put it, salt. It, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. See it, but yeah. They can cost you a bomb. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's oh. all about experience. Can you can you actually say now it's a it's a way forward to those? For example, uh, mm. we we have like good noodle store in Kuching, like, mm. like legit like since grandparents time until mm. now so do you think that it would be a good idea if let's say the young ones who mm. take over the business mm. just make it look good because you already taste nice yeah the recipe have been passed down yeah, generations yeah, yeah. yeah it already tastes nice yeah now you just make to mm. make it look this good this is what you see um we do have uh, i also conduct few consultations as well mm. Uh, for those hawker stores and so on. Mm, mm. So they are doing well, I mean, in terms of business, but of course, after COVID, it really impacted. Yeah. And the business is not doing well. Mm. So what we do is actually, we get a few number of students and, you know, to market, you know, do a, a fancy poster, mm. uh, fancy Facebook, Instagram, whatever, TikTok, you know, all these kind of technologies is actually helping to enhance marketing. Yeah, yeah. But of course, 
um, in terms of taste, you can't deliver taste. But as I said, yeah. people eat um, food through the eye Ice first. first. Yeah, yeah. So, you know, all these visual effects and so on, it look pretty, definitely people will buy. Yeah. yeah. I say it like that because now I remember the flying noodle. Yeah. It's pretty much it's the same. It's, it's just it's just a, a fried noodle. Yeah. We just, just stick the yeah. chopstick. Yeah, I think this is all marketing gimmick. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. So mm. if you're watching this in your FMB business, you know what to do. If it doesn't look <laughs> nice, make it look nice first. <laughs> then it will sell. Yeah. <laughs> then it will sell. Uh okay. So uh, what are what are some of the biggest challenges you face as a uh, this type educator? Well, I think um, I'm from the olden era. Okay. Now it's actually more towards digital native era. Okay. Why I'm saying that because you see, um, students nowadays they can't live without phones, they can't live without laptops, yeah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. So we have to change our teaching pedagogy. Previously, mm. let's say a chef, mm. it's all about physical uh, interaction where you know we teach classes, we teach them hands on whatever mm. whatever. Mm. But now. We have to really, as educators, we have to really adapt and also, you know, use whatever technologies that we have now to enhance teaching and learning. So that is a bit difficult because okay. we are not that expert in all these technologies. Oh, okay, okay. So okay. of course, we have to think and we have to learn as well mm. how to use. For example, during COVID, nobody knows about Microsoft Teams. Nobody knows yeah. about Zoom. Zoom. <laughs> so when COVID strike, um, it actually, you know, make us all sit down and think, how can we continue teaching and learning? Yeah. And of course, to avoid, you know, students being left out, this kind of mm. thing. So we use the usage of, uh, you know, Zoom, mm. where we video record our cooking methods and so on. Mm. So they do, they are at home. Mm. So they, they, look, they look at uh, the live um, telecast that we make, and they look and ask straight questions, you see? But it's very difficult, but yeah. it's doable. Oh, yeah, okay, there, there's okay, a bigger okay. challenge now because we can't avoid because things are happening mm. and uh, due to COVID, it accelerate the technology usage. Mm. We have to be creative in all our teaching and learning. Uh, so, um, what is a, what is a new technological things that it's already like, for example, a tool guy or something that is already in the class current day mm -hmm. compared to maybe five years or ten years ago? Is there is this something that is slightly different? So far, in terms of culinary ones, too, equipment is still the same. We still okay. can use to, uh, but of course, uh, there's a lot of new gadgets coming in. Uh, oh, okay. You know, um, like blast chiller, whatever, whatever lah. Blast chiller, oh, blast chiller okay, okay, where you okay. freeze the thing within uh, 10 seconds, it's freeze, freeze uh, okay, whatever. Okay. And a lot of um, sous vide machine as well. All of these is actually what a machine, is that? sous vide machine. <laughs> uh, you where, need to explain. Where sous vide machine is actually a machine that regulates um, constant temperature. Oh, uh, so meaning okay. you say, let's say if you want to cook a beef, right? Yeah. You vacuum pack your beef, mm. then you put all your marinade in the vacuum pack, then you put the serving machine, it will constantly cook. Let's mm. say you put the set temperature like 65 or 60 or 50 Celsius. Oh, okay. So the meat will maintain at 52 Celsius. Celsius. It will oh, not go over. over. So oh, once under. you open, you just cook, voila, well done, or medium rare, or whatever. Uh. It's perfect cooking and so on. Yeah, just a lot mm. of um, <laughs> marine technologies, but of course, oh, okay, investment. Okay. Mm, There's a lot of money, uh, money, money and sense money, yeah. at the end of the day. Ah, okay, yeah. okay. I talked to an auntie, which is mm. also a teacher, mm -hmm. but she teaches in uh, primary school. Mm -hmm. Primary school, yeah. But I am so uh, amazed by... <laughs> she said now school, uh, it's no more blackboard. Yeah, There's no yeah. more blackboard mm. already. It's not even whiteboard anymore. Mm. They all have smart board. Mm. I'm like, what the hell did smart board do? <laughs> Then she like, right. you know, she can, they can mm. do this, it's also a TV, mm. you know, they can also play video Correct. and things that they can do and, you know, I'm mm. like, my class don't even have four working, four fans, only have two working <laughs> fans only. Yeah, exactly, that's right. our year. Right. Uh, we one blackboard, two fans, then you're sitting there. Yeah. If you, you know, sometimes you have to copy whatever your like, uh, teacher uh, is teaching, uh, but the, the time you look up, oh it's God, gone. it's all gone. <laughs> Then my teacher asked me, why you haven't copied? Like, how do no, I, I copy? copy. <laughs> no, but now, you know, you write something on the board, they just take picture done. Yeah, There's right. their notes. Um, what are the most important qualities for an effective teacher to have? Huh, <laughs> this is a very serious question. For you lah, for you. For la, me, for but you. of course for me, I mean, I believe in three uh, values, which is actually uh, patience, okay. uh, flexibility and also fairness. Flexibility we, you know, and fairness. Fairness. So oh, why okay, I say okay. patient? Because you see, when we teach mm. someone, mm. Uh, we can't expect that everyone in the group have the similar IQ level. Uh, um, you can't assume that they all are quick learner. 
Mm. You can't assume that they know what you are saying. Mm. So we have to be patient when we, you know, deliver or teach certain, uh, you know, knowledge that we want to share and so on. Mm-hmm. Because we have to take into consideration of the background, uh, the level of understanding, where they're from, which school they're from, mm-hmm. and uh, which district they are from because different places have different um, you know shame and model mm, mm, mm. so in a way we have to be patient when we deliver this kind of thing if students don't understand it's not their fault mm. it's because of level of understanding mm, mm. so we have to really you know be patient when they ask question sometimes you get annoyed you ask they ask two or three times it's normal mm. because they are learning yeah, if they yeah. know they will not ask you yeah, yeah, yeah. but Don't of course you, you know um, these kind of things we have to take passionately lah, huh? Then second is about flexibility. Okay. Because as I said, now emerging technologies have pop up. Mm. So we have to be flexible in terms of our teaching and learning. Mm. We can't stay or stick to status quo how teaching and learning used to be um, processed previously. Mm. For example, in just one way combination, teacher tell you A is A. Okay, okay, okay. Then if you're wrong, they bring the rotan and <laughs> whack you up. But <laughs> now, we have to be flexible in terms of teaching and learning because you know we have a lot of um, online platform now. Mm. Uh, then what we can do is actually we provide them additional information. We pack it on like say Google Drive where they can mm. review. Or for us, um, for our university, we are using course network mm. where all the notes they can retrieve there and do their own learning and so on. Ah, so that is actually okay, giving okay. them flexibility to learn as well. Mm, okay. And of course, uh, the third one is fairness. So we can't have favoritism in our students. Of course, this is all human nature. Mm, yeah. Sometimes I like you, sometimes I don't like you. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Some, some I will not say all, mm. but some you know carry, tend to have favoritism in the classroom, which mm. is actually for me is totally <coughs> not a right practice. Mm. Because we are here as educator, we want to convey, we want to educate, and we want to increase the capacity, especially within our community. Mm, mm. So what we need to do is actually we have to you know. Um, give all the fairness to all our students so that they will have similar knowledge that they can use this to educate the rest of the community as well. Mm, mm. Okay. Do you consider yourself as memang somebody young, very patient or...? Back then, when I was still in industry, I'm not a patient guy. <laughs> okay, okay. Because you are from kitchen. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, all of you know all these TV shows and so on. Yeah, yeah. I'm used to be hot-tempered. Oh, right. okay. um, things are not right, I would throw pants and so on. But okay. that is older days. Oh, okay, but okay. when when I enter education line, then you, you would think, why am I doing this? Mm-hmm. The more fierce, the more tempered, hot tempered you are, people will not learn. Okay. okay. So once you change your teaching pedagogy and so on, mm. you listen to what the students want and need, then you'll be able to teach them more efficiently. How, then how do you actually change that and train yourself like, you know, not to do. I'm, I'm sure it's not an overnight thing, right? Yeah. Last yesterday, you just throw a pen, then tomorrow, wake up. Okay, of course, I'm, I mean, <laughs> uh, first semester students, when I first stepped my foot in education line, mm. a lot of students fear of, uh, they call it Chef Chris. Mm. Oh my God, Chef Chris class, habis lah. Oh, uh, okay. So, we did, because the, the way I conduct the class is like, totally in the industry wise. Oh, but of course, okay, okay. after you know months and months you go through and so on, you sit down with the students, you become their friends, mm. and you build that relationship and so on, then you understand. Mm. So in a way, the more fierce you are, the, the teaching process will, will actually stop. Mm. Because they get fear on you, yeah, yeah. once they come in the class with fear, they will not mm. learn. Yeah, 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 they yeah, are yeah. shaking. La. But yeah, of course, yeah. after that, we are a friend now. Even... Uh, our all our alumni now we are very close. Oh, mm. okay, okay. Yeah, I I do I do agree with that because mm. obviously if you have a teacher who is who you felt more like a friend, mm. you'll be more open up to. Correct. Obviously, when you open up, there's a lot of things can happen. Mm. Learning is one of them, right? right. Mm. But if let's say you you must hold the class, you like. I don't want to get fucked up. That's all, uh. you know. Then because I I don't want to cannot work. Yeah, yeah. You know, so all I can think about is don't fuck up, don't fuck up. <laughs> and then I don't know. Then what do you learn in that class? I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> I, don't know. <laughs> I just know I don't get fucked up. Yeah, right. And uh, we, okay, the same okay, thing because uh, when uh, I think we're in high school at maths. Mm. Well, I I tell you the teacher was so fierce. And of course, that time the principal is the one who taught us. Oh, okay, okay. So okay every okay, time okay. before the class. Comments is hey, homework sudah siap ah. <laughs> oh, I take my our friend uh, yeah, you know, yeah, copy friend, copy. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, uh, but in a way, you know, we have to balance out. Especially educator, we have to know when to be strict, 
when oh, to release. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, because we want to ensure that the skills that they learn, you know, is productive. Mm, so mm. we have to be really sensible and also know when to be strict, when to uh, be friend with them, mm. when to put a stop, mm. and when to, you know, continue on. Do you see yourself being a teacher and when you go back as a father, you will still have that kind of thread? Huh. That is another part of question. Okay. So when I'm at home, I'm a joker. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, so I think my kids really get stressed on me because you know I tend to play around with them. You oh, know, okay. I, I squeeze them, bully them, and so on. Because I mean that's father do what. <laughs> okay. Okay. To, to annoy okay. their their, their kids. kids. <laughs> Okay, okay. Oh, so it's completely different. Completely different. Oh, okay. So, uh, and, but at home, um, <laughs> the, the the teachers uh, for my kids is actually my wife. Oh, wife uh, The mother uh, is the teacher uh, The father she is actually the joker and uh, disruptor the whole oh. ecosystem. <laughs> Ah, okay, okay. Yeah, because, okay, because, again, I probably, it's uh, gender-wise different. Like, because I have a friend who is, uh, <coughs> that includes my auntie also, huh? mm. uh, who is female, they are teacher. Mm-hmm. When they go home, they are still teacher. Yeah. You know, so, so um, like, macam, even when they go to school, mm. kids cannot call them mummy. Mm. Have to call them cikgu. Oh, cikgu. Uh, ah. Have to call them cikgu. Wow. Uh, I mean, like, she is... Yeah, at home in, in the zone. Ah, uh, at home, <laughs> mummy is mummy. But in school, I'm not your mum. Mm. If you are wrong, you are still wrong. Yeah, right? I think uh, so. I do have the experience because my late date uh, is also a teacher. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so he taught me and did primary four. Okay. So in Bahasa, Malaysia, and science class. So when I have a question to ask, should I call daddy or should I call teacher? <laughs> Okay. So that kind of thing is always stuck. If you call teacher, it's very awkward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I mean, at the end, they say, whatever lah, call teacher, teacher lah. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> so, so you call teacher lah. La. So there is a little bit awkward moment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I luckily, mean, it la- only lasts for one year. Ah, okay, okay, okay. But he, he never actually say yes or no lah. Ah, uh, no. I mean, like, if you call daddy also, he mm. wouldn't like... No. Ah, uh, no lah. Oh, but okay, of course, okay. after that lah, then your friend will make fun of you. Daddy, daddy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I asked lady, where yeah, you are. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, what advice do you have for parents or caregivers who want to support their children's education at home? Well, I think parents um, are parents as a general. parents wise, you know, um, you see, uh, we have to support whatever our child wants, you know. Sometimes if you want to study and so on, sometimes parents want, um, let's say, engineering. I want you to take engineering. I want you to be engineer. I want mm. to be doctor. I want mm. you to be this and that, this and that. Mm. But in a way, it's actually long per- wrong perceptions mm. because you see, at the end of the day, it's not you who going to study all this. It's your son or, mm. or your daughter. Yeah. Uh, it same goes to me. All my brothers are from engineering field, mm. except for me. Suddenly, out Kloa Darizu. Oh, culinary. everybody is engineer. Yeah, except, except for you. me. But oh, okay. I always claim myself as culinary engineer. <laughs> because okay, I construct okay. food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In a way, lah. In a uh, way. But yeah. of course, with that, of course, my parents were saying, you know, oh, why you want to take this course? You you look at your brothers and so on. But of course, it's not about the field that you want to study in. Mm. It's all about supporting your child uh, and also give them all the support. Mm. So with that, then they will be able to progress. Because at the end of the day, it's how they bring themselves. Even mm. myself here in culinary arts, who have thought that I become the resident major for the hotel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm uh, visiting professor for Adamson University in mm. Philippines mm. and this kind of thing. This is all about how you brought up yourself and also how your parents support and also you know uh, support all your progress. On, mm. You know these kind of things. So whatever your child wants, your daughter or son wants, you know maybe you can discuss with them first. We can advise. Okay. But okay, do okay. not force. Ah. One force. There's no uh, in terms of feelings of, you mm. know, you, I want to study this, but we go, if your son or daughter go to classes, so they will drag themselves. They will drag themselves True. to the classes. At the end of the day, True. they fail. They don't love it. They fail. At the end of the day, cost money. Mm. Yeah, yeah? You know, this kind True. of things. Yeah. True. True is because I am one of them. <laughs> True yeah. is because we, I am one are, of them. We are the same boat. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, uh, because I was... In a way, in my generation, lah, mm. because I'm the eldest among mm. my siblings and my cousins. Mm-hmm. So I have like 30 something over 40 something mm. cousins. So I'm the first one to actually go to like uni. Yeah. yeah. Obviously, there's nobody to like kind of like ask, mm. you know, because like there's nobody before ma, so mm. who should they ask on like yeah. how, right? 
But I have two elder uh, cousins which are engineer, and they're like, you know, go swim band lah. Swim mm, mm. you know, engineering school. Mm. When I enter, right, I'm like, uh, okay lah, mathematics, can lah. Chinese should be able to do mathematics oh, lah, oh. right? Should be, should be. <laughs> a moment, the question come out, right? I'm like, I still remember this question because I keep on telling this story. The question is, you have a size of a droplet of water, right? So this is your diameter. <laughs> yeah. Then when it drop, this is your height. Oh, what's the velocity as well? No, no, the velocity uh, drop. Uh, okay. Calculate the momentum. <laughs> then I ask the teacher, the water drop, let it drop lah. Why uh, the people want to count uh, the momentum? Why you need to count the momentum? Ah, <laughs> my teacher said, you want to learn, you, you solve it. If not, you just get out of class. <laughs> One semester, I tell my father, I cannot do this. I cannot do this. Then after that, uh, I still have, I think that time I still yet to like, I'm still discovering myself. Mm, mm. Not sure what you want to do and stuff like All that. Right. Then after that, I'm like, wait, I'm really good at talking. Mm. Yeah. That includes talking back to my parents. Yeah, uh. <laughs> and I also have the qualification set for uh, to study law. Uh-huh. Right? One of it is you have to have good grades in sejarah. Yeah, correct. Because memorization. Mm. Right? I tell my father, eh, I think Ken, this one Ken. Tell my late father. Also. My father say, Ken, okay, go. Lah. Then, chun chun that time, uh, office hire a new lawyer. <coughs> Meet the lawyer and see what she say. Mm. Right? Then I, I go, remember, I remember that time, Mohawk. A lot of earrings. Mm. I still remember I wear a shirt that says fuck off <laughs> to the lawyer firm. Uh. The lawyer haven't arrived. I said that the lawyer firm there, there are a few because it's a um, uh, office, right? so mm. there are a few lawyers. Yeah. The lawyers came in, the lawyers look at me. The 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 look they look at me again is like this kid must have raped somebody or must have <laughs> killed somebody <laughs> like, here for lawyer advice. <laughs> the moment I walk into the lawyer's office, mm. I'm like, oh, this is not the life because mm. it's all files, books, yeah. and documents. Yeah. It's like I cannot, yeah. <laughs> I cannot. <laughs> but okay, go back to the question, can if mm. let's say your kids are uh, obviously now there are more kids who wanted to become TikTokers than. Mm. <laughs> but of course, you see, how does the society work then? Uh, yeah, I mean for 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 me, looking at it, you know TikTok or whatever, what social media content, or social media influencer, whatever, that could be part-time jobs. Oh, okay. But of course, okay. education still comes first. I still believe education comes first because, you see, education will actually enhance your knowledge about certain, you know, field of studies. Oh, okay. So okay. that will actually help them to grow and understand things, what is happening in the world. So, of course, you talk if they want to do it, yeah, fine, but don't neglect your teaching, uh, you know, your education. Study, yeah, that's okay, very okay. important. Oh, uh, so... For you, it's quite similar to the guest before. So for you, education is still number one. Yeah. Kids, you want to do whatever you want to do, still can, but you have to go and study first. Whatever right. you want to study, daddy will support, but yeah. you have to study. Yeah, yeah. Mm. What if, let's say, your kid want to study, because I recently also found out this, and I was like, how come my, my school time don't have this? Yeah. Uh, game commentary. Ah, I mean, I mean, <laughs> if they're really interested in it, then why not? It's because okay looking la. at it, because you see, as I said, technologies, you can't away, go run away with technologies and yeah, gamified yeah. is actually one of the booming industry. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, you see now you have eSports yeah. and those are win, yeah. they earn millions. Yeah. And what am I doing here? <laughs> 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 but I should just Shit. play Mobile Legends and all, yeah, you know? Yeah, exactly. But of course, we, we can't see things as how it used to be in 20 years ago or 15 mm, years ago. Mm. We have to see uh, the current situation. Mm. If they really want to go this kind of program, then why not? As long as they can make a living out of it, that's it. I, I, although I don't see myself do this, but I think um, because there are people who ask me the similar question, <laughs> And I say, uh, actually, I don't care what my kids want to do, but they have to promise that you have to give your best shot. Yeah. If let's say my I have a daughter, yeah. she want to be a football player. Mm-hmm. By all means, yeah. go. But but do all you your best. Yeah. You datang balik and daddy, I patah kaki. They cannot do. Okay then, okay, because you have give your all. I mean, if, that is what um, my late father was saying. Because you know when he's saying that you know. Your brother, your first brother is uh, biotech. Mm. Second brother, mechanical engineering. Mm. Your third brother is doing electrical engineering. Mm. What you want to do in life? <laughs> okay. So I told them, I'll be a chef. Oh, okay. So of course he gets shocked on life, but he was mentioning, okay, if you really want to do it, then do it. 
then make sure you complete and do your best and be someone yeah, after yeah. you finish your study. Ah, okay, so okay. that is way, you know, um, as I said, I have a lot of things that I want to achieve. Mm. Because, you know, we want to prove to ourselves. We actually, we are, doesn't need to prove to anyone else. Mm. Actually, it's just for ourselves. Yeah. That's, that's the reason why I have a lot of bucket lists. I want to fulfill mm. this and that, this and that. This, that. It's really to prove ourselves that, you know, this is not the field that I want to do. Uh, engineering is not my field, but I can do a lot of things. Mm. I can achieve mm. a lot of things or mm. a lot of greatness as well. Yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. Okay. I think we still go along the same line on, on that part. Lah, huh? mm. The same thing you're going to tell your children also. Lah. Yeah. Do whatever you want to do, <laughs> but give it yeah. your all. So talking about the show just now, Gan, talking about the show just now, you were mentioning that you have to travel to different places in yeah. Sarawak. Huh? Mm. So how do you prepare for your show? And what, what is your process like uh, uh, from, from top? Of course, you see, um, in any of my show before before I do any of my show, of uh, course you have to do research first, yeah, yeah. because you doesn't look, you doesn't want to look a fool in the TV shows or in any screens and yeah. so. So of course you have to do your background studies about the culture, the surrounding, mm. the content that we're going to talk on and so on. Then of course we have to do proper planning as well because mm. you know when you have shows, for example like uh, the previous show that I have, I think. It was uh, Inspiration Chef, I think, uh, 13, ba- uh, 13 episodes in 5 days. Oh! So, in, uh, it's really crazy. So, it's back to back. So, yeah. I mean, you say every day, 3 episodes, 3 episodes, 3 episodes. Sometimes, I have to do 4 episodes as well. It's until in the morning. Well, I think, uh, well, of course, you have to do all the proper planning. Uh, so, you get your team, work, sit down with you, discuss, plan together, and work it out. Oh, so okay. uh, all these kind of things, you know, take times. Mm. But of course, you, when you see in the TV shows and so on, it looks very easy. Yeah. Just talk. Exactly. But actually, it's not. <laughs> uh, of course. Uh, until they are here, then they know. Uh, until they are here, then they know. <laughs> yeah. So even myself, you know, uh, we have been shooting from, I think, 4 o'clock in the morning mm. up to 3 o'clock in the morning the next day. So we, oh, we okay. as a host, and we are uh, myself as well as a chef, your eye back is there, mm. whatever, but you are really sleepy, but you have to do it because, or else, you will disrupt the whole operation. Uh, you will disrupt the production crew, you know, the planning, mm. the, the guest artists, whatever, mm, whatever. Yeah. So, because of one person, it will affect the whole team. Mm. So, you have to be mentally ready and also well prepared and all that. By hook or by crook, just have to do it. La. Just do it. I'm sharing from personal experience. Mm. Uh, apart from a apart from a host, mm. uh, I also do uh, MC gig. Yeah. Uh, but I've been doing uh, event management for very yeah. long time. Yeah. So the hours is also quite crazy. Yeah. Me say that you set up until three yeah. four mm. in the morning, but recent years, uh, I felt that whenever I sleep late, uh, not late late, uh, even two three in the morning, uh, then I get up normal time. Let's say seven eight. Uh, mm. I can literally hear my liver screaming. Yeah. 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 Wouldn't you feel that? Yeah. You still feel that? Yeah, of course you feel that because <laughs> you are, I think you are totally exhausted. You are screaming, you are tired, but you can't do much because you have to get the job done. Okay, uh, okay. I mean, Mind uh, over body. Yeah. La. So in a way, after you were thinking, okay, three more days, three more days, three more days. After the second day, two more days, two more days. <laughs> like, oh, finally, last finally. Day, last, last day, day. Oh, finish. Okay, fine. Then you go sleep. <laughs> oh, okay, uh, okay. Do, do you... Take like uh, uh, precautious steps uh, or or things that you like. For example, or oh, I don't drink cold water last. This form of oh, supplement. No, is any- um, I don't have that kind of you know things. Some sort of like that. I don't practice these kind of things. It's just that I try to get as much rest as I can. You know, when we travel to certain places, I will ask. Uh, usually, I will not drive. I will just rest. Oh, okay. Twenty okay. minutes, fifty minutes. Okay. Whatever rest you can get. Do you know, it. do it. Oh, Even though okay. while you're waiting for your whole time, uh, they're still setting up, you just know, the camera man says, well, just take a nap before, or oh. else you just, just cross your eye and rest. Oh, okay, uh, okay. So that actually gives you some sort of uh, a little bit energy boost, like, yeah, even though it's yeah, not yeah. much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's what you do. La. Yeah. Oh, okay. So other than that, you don't take like supplements? Or of course, or la, a normal supplement, like vitamin supplements. C. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay kind of normal supplements. Like, yeah. la, okay, you yeah. don't take like... There's a special ingredient. <laughs> no, okay. No, no. no, okay, okay. Of course, special. Uh, if you talk about supplement, my only supplement is kopi si peng. Ah. Oh, caffeine. <laughs> la. Caffeine is your... <laughs> okay, that's a lot of people's secret. Also, apparently, <laughs> there's also a lot of people's secret. But the thing is, I hate it is because that used to be, uh, not to say used to be, la, uh, 
it's also something that I used to boost myself. Mm. But after that, I realized I couldn't take it anymore. Mm. One, uh, I realized after I drink something with milk, mm. I tend to cough a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially when you are talking, it's yeah, even yeah. harder. Yeah. Two, it also disrupts my bladder. I don't know why. When I have especially yeah, coffee yeah. with milk, uh, uh. I always tend to go to the toilet a lot mm. more often. Mm, mm, mm. I cannot. Uh, I have to. Lactose s- intolerance? Uh? No. No. I, I mean, like, if I drink milk just like that, it doesn't. Ah, uh, okay. It doesn't. So mm. I do not know why. So it's it's hard lah because let's say again you want to host a show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are stand. You stand by. I have done this before. Uh. You stand by there. Premier is coming mm. already. You know. Mm. You have to be there, ma. Mm. Announcing arrival, ma. Mm. But at the same time, ma, your pee yeah, is already you, at the uh, custom uh, already. <laughs> like, oh, what the. I like, they have to call, no? I have to ask the bodyguard, Sudah sampai dulu, Sudah, 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 on the way, Sudah, on the way, you're like, what? Just, uh, so, after that, I just like, I don't want, I don't want anymore, yeah. enough, <laughs> enough. Okay, but with, with different people, yeah, different people. Correct. You, you do tell us that, you know, you say it's about manage, management, time management, it's about, it's about how you uh, balance your different, different stuff, but how do you actually do it? How do you actually do it? We can juggle between so um, Of course, you see, um, at the first place when I took over, you know, two portfolio, as mm. I mentioned, so it's not easy because you have to manage one side and you, the other side as well. Uh, of course, you have to have a great team behind you. Mm, okay. So, of course, uh, to establish this great team, you have to make them believe in you. Uh, so if okay. they believe in what is your goal and your direction, then it will be easier. Mm. So uh, I mean, it took me a um, few years to establish that um, you know belief mm. uh, within my community of circle of colleagues as well. Mm. So now it's pretty much easy because um, I just share what is my idea, my direction. They know what to do because ah, they understand okay, me. Okay. They understand what I want, and of course they you know, mitigates and work together to achieve something uh, past that has been said. Mm, mm. Okay, okay. But do you, do you, like, I'll give you another example. I have a friend mm. who, uh, before he goes to sleep then, mm. he will think about what he want to do tomorrow. Mm. He will line it up accordingly, mm. then he will sleep. Uh, do, you, do you have, like, for me, practice like that? For me, I have one, some sort of um, blank paper. Okay, okay. So we write down whatever, whatever task, pending task, pending task, whatever task, whatever appointments, whatever, whatever. I put everything in the list. Okay. So once I put it there, I will remember. Oh, okay. So okay. once I've done my task, I just tick, 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 and so on. But I don't, I don't really have a specific to do list tomorrow. What I'm going to do and so on. Oh, uh, okay, okay, mm. okay. You don't have that, but you just list it out. And list it out, and after that, go with the flow. <laughs> still a piece of paper. It's still a piece of paper. Uh, old school. Yeah. Yeah. Old school. Uh, of course, we, we now you can put it in the paper. La. <laughs> but of course, sometimes if you write, you can memorize and understand more. Because yeah, yeah. Oh, if okay, you look okay. at phone, you don't shock. Uh, not shock. Uh. Old school. Uh. Old school. Uh. Old school. Uh. Yeah, old school uh. We still get uh, uh, that uh, feeling. Of, feeling. <laughs> yeah, I, I still I, I, I do, the, do that as well. Mm. Although you can put it in your phone. Yeah, yeah. But with some scribble, scribble, uh, scribble best. <laughs> uh, that actually give you more ideas. You know, sometimes you, you scribble, it actually prompt you, oh, I think of this, oh, I got new ideas, this kind of thing. But if you go through phones, type, 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 then no idea. So that, I think uh, the same thing that okay. I do as well, I think when I create, uh, create my recipes for mm. new shows and so on, I scribble. I don't put in PC or type oh, in laptop okay. and so on. You okay. scribble, you write down, you draw the diagram and so on. Of course, you can use iPad and so on. Yeah, yeah. It's but like, that, I don't want to say. That feel is totally different. It's different. Feel, uh, different. So feel of paper is different. Feel of paper and pen scratching each other is yeah, different. different. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But after that, do you actually document all this stuff? Um, yeah, it can be a treasure one yeah, day. Yeah, correct, eh? correct. I never thought of that. Yeah. Huh? Usually you? after I get it, okay, now let's transform this and then I brief the whole thing, the team will do it, everything is there. <laughs> oh, throw away. Eh? Ah, yeah, it, it should, should, should be. Yeah, yeah, it should be. Yeah, good idea as well. Yeah, I mean like, after, who knows, eh, after 50 years. Yeah, yeah. then you open up, wow. Yeah, your kid can like, hey, yeah. this one can sell for uh, 50,000. Uh, <laughs> I never know. Uh. <laughs> Okay, all right. I, I think we have to we have to wrap up. But before that, mm. um, as somebody who is so uh, successful at so mm. many things that you are doing, uh, mm. is there a like the channel? The channel is called Feel Good. Yeah. Is there something that is your feel good? You know, when when you obviously we are still human, right? So whenever we sometimes when we work so hard, we're like, ah, 
Mm. Why am I doing this? Mm. Uh, what always, is your feel good? Um, I always believe in one quote that I think if you ask all my alumni, they know this quote. Uh, we go as a team, go back as a team. Okay. Uh, so meaning we you go say, as a team, uh, go, go back, back as, as a team. team. So meaning you say nobody should left be left behind. Ah, um, okay. In terms of whatever that we are doing. So for example, in the kitchen as well. Mm. Um, during my classes as well, or during when I was in kitchen life, you know, I never leave anyone um, suffer. Let's oh, say operation man. wise, even though my shift is done, he's suffering with 20, 30 orders coming up, you know, non stop and so on. I will come and help them. Oh, so, same okay, goes okay. to teaching and learning as well. I um, always tell the students, you know, when we do things we have to do together, mm. alone you can't, you just can achieve one goal, mm. but together you can achieve 20, 30, 40 yeah, goals. Yeah. So, we have to work as a team uh, in order for us to move further and also achieve together. Mm. That, that is, I think, my philosophy in life. I think uh, in all my things that I do, I never um, say me or I or whatever, oh, I do this, I do that. But I always emphasize that we are the one who, you know, achieve Did this it? together. Uh, okay, uh, okay. And I think that is how we can move forward faster in the way. Mm. Okay, okay. Ah. Okay, teamwork makes the dream works. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, thank you so much. So yes. before we say our goodbye, uh, if let's say people want to find you or actually go and look for your show, where should they go to? Um, you can stay tuned to um, what you call uh, www.rtm.click I think I, I can't remember the okay. website. Okay. There's a website okay. by RTM, you can click uh, TV OK as well. Mm, and of okay. course, um, you can stay tuned as well in my Facebook account as well, like Christopher One. Christopher One. Um, very okay. simple, straightforward. Uh, I wanted to change Chris One, but later people call me Chef One. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, right. right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Christopher uh, one. Okay, Mr. Christopher one. Uh, what a coincidence. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay, Facebook. So, if you yeah. want to watch all the show, yeah. you will post it on your yep. Facebook also. All like right. right. All right. Uh, once again, thank you very much to uh, Chef Chris one. Yeah. <laughs> thank you very thank much. You. It's an, uh, it's a, it's a, I have a great time talking to you. Yeah. I've learned too. so much about uh, things that it's uh, from an educator, chef yeah. point of view. Yeah. Uh, all right. Thank you very much once again. And uh, that's all for this episode. Uh, once again, I'm Kim signing off. Thank you very much. Until the next episode. Ciao.